Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Saber Smith's luxurious hand-cooked British chips with style. I have the desert salt potato chips. And I have bubbly and serrano chili. These were $3 each at the fresh market. You may recognize this name, and that is because Kevin and I bought this brand while we were on our vacation in the United Kingdom. And uh, Kevin and Andrew actually reviewed uh, the other ones. There were three other flavors in a different video. So if you haven't seen that video, you might want to check it out. So this time you get me. Um, this is gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO. There's a description of what it is. Okay. We could tell you more about our desert salt, like how it is unrefined and unprocessed and naturally harvested from a salt pan in the pristine Kalahari Desert. But we get the feeling you're the kind of crisp eater who would rather keep it minimal. We respect that. So, five servings are in the container, 18 chips, 28 grams, one ounce is 136 calories. So these are just salt and there. Yeah. Yes, and they look like your typical crisp. It's a kettle chip. That's good. Mm -hmm. They remind you of just like a regular Lay's. That is exactly what they remind me of. They're not as greasy as Lay's. Uh -huh. And I also don't think they have quite as much salt mm -hmm. as the Lay's. But that, that's what they remind you of. Just a good potato -y taste. Mm -hmm. With some salt. Just a, <laughs> yeah, just a regular kettle chip is what they remind me of. And they're not too hard, so that's good. But with the, the name Desert Salt, you, you might think, oh, they're going to be really salty, but they're not. They're mm -hmm. just like a regular potato chip yeah. salt. Yeah, and less salty than like a lake, so just keep that in mind. I, okay. I like them, they're yeah. good, but... They do good with a sandwich or something. Yeah, these would go great with a sandwich, yes. These, the bubbly and serrano chili, um, tastier than the cat's meow. Cool cats love to live on the edge, so we've turned up the heat with this flavor, adding a scream of serrano chili to the fizz of bubbly and a pinch of sea salt. The bee's knees have nothing on these. Five servings in the container, 18 chips, 28 grams, one ounce is 140 when calories. bubbly, does that mean like champagne bubbly? I don't know, these have uh, sunflower oil, dried champagne. Yeah, champagne. Yes, dried champagne, uh, sugar, sea salt, dried chardonnay. No. Dried spirit vinegar. Um, so these are going to be interesting. And they have cayenne <laughs> chili, serrano chili, uh, onion, red bell pepper. So these are definitely going to be a savory spice. They don't look any different. No, they look exactly the same. There's no coating. But they smell, they're very strong. And then that you get the heat. A little bit. You know, I have all those spices in it though. The flavors aren't as bold as I was expecting it to be. You know what I mean? I, and to me, it's it's strong enough. It's, it, oh yeah, I wouldn't want it necessarily stronger, but like, I think about like, okay, eat a barbecue potato chip. And you get a really strong like smoke and seasoning and, and spices and you get a really strong bold flavor these are kind of more mellow it's, flavors. it's more mellow than barbecue but it's complete it's a completely different experience than barbecue this is uh you do get the flavor of that champagne and i the only reason i know that's what it is is it's something that we don't we don't drink champagne um but that's what that is because I read it in the ingredients mm -hmm. and that's all that it could be. So you get that flavor when you start out and then once you uh, start to swallow it, you get some heat from it. Yeah, and there's a little heat there. Yeah, it's not a bad heat, but it does, there's, there, a there's a tingle, yes. There's a tingle in the back of your throat and even now still, 
it's not that it hurts or it's over, uh, overpowering or anything like mm, that, no. but you still, that tingle remains even after you swallow the yeah. chip. It's a nice tingle <laughs> if you yeah. like hot food. Yeah. Um, I actually like those. I, I think they're very nice. They're not something I would get all the time because I wouldn't want the flavor of that. I just don't get a lot of flavor. From See, it. I do. I really, when I first put that in my mouth, I really taste that. That's the first thing I get. Um, I just, I wouldn't want that all the time, but I do like those. I mean, I get the flavor. And they are different. They're very different. They're, they're unlike, you know, any other salt and vinegar or sour cream and onion or cheddar, um, barbecue. They're completely different from any of that. They, they are what they say they mm -hmm. are. They're, they're definitely a different flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I get a little bit of that flavor of that champagne like, like flavor. It's just. I don't know. It's just not really strong for me. And last time we did the review, I do I don't remember where Kevin and Andrew said we got them. It was either in like Selfridges or Harrods, one or the one other. Was expensive and course. it was expensive. Huh? And so um, many of you that live in the United Kingdom let us know that they sell them in Waitrose, and they're cheaper in Waitrose. Yeah. Um, so probably a bigger Waitrose than what we ever went into. Probably. And you know what? When we're there. We can't be bargain shopping. If if you live in a place that's different, you can take your time and you yeah. know that this you door is go. cheaper. Yeah. And when we're there, we have to get it when we see it because yeah. we might never be in a place to see it again. At, you know, we just don't know when we're gonna have the chance again. And we might have gone in like Harrods one time and then not come back. So while we're there, we have to get what, you know, whatever we can. So I know you all understand, but I'm glad you put in the comments for people who live there. I'm glad you put that in there so that people would know, don't go there and buy them, go to Waitrose and buy them. Yeah. Um, but if you want to get them in the United States, we were absolutely shocked to find these in the fresh market. It's like, Oh my goodness. They, yeah. And they're they, a good chip. They're a good know, quality chip. Yeah, we paid a fortune for those, and here they are. And they're still not cheap. You know, they're $3 a bag. I love the artwork on the bag. $3 uh, a bag is not ridiculous. Though. No, it's not. It's not ridiculous. It's not bad at all, especially for a, um, a different experience. Yeah, because they are different yeah. than our normal flavors we have. Here. Absolutely, yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.